Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If you're interested in seeing how I created this no makeup makeup look, then just keep on watching. Thanks. All right, beautiful people, we are going to jump right into this tutorial. So this is a fresh face, like a no makeup makeup routine. So I'm really focusing on skin. I'm starting off with some vitamin E oil. If you are not familiar with my channel, I have dry skin and as the year goes along and as it gets colder my skin gets drier so I'm starting off with an oil very inexpensive I got that little bottle from Walmart I want to say it's like maybe four or five dollars my eyebrows are already done if you want to see how I did that it's the last video I just posted is an updated brow routine so first step oil second I'm going in with my Scandinavia makeup primer spray I'm going to go in with yet another primer this is Maybelline's Master Prime Blur and Smooth. Again, I just want my skin to be flawless. I'm not really putting on a lot of makeup products, but nonetheless, I still want my skin to look smooth. I have large pores, so I want to fill them, and I want what I am going to apply to stay onto my face. So another primer, this one is specifically for pores. It's Benefits Cosmetics Professional Primer, and I'm only going to apply that on the areas of my face where my pores are the largest and I'm just patting the product into my skin. The next product that I'm going to use is my Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray. This is just going to help my face maintain moisture again i have dry skin so before i start putting on makeup i really have to make sure that my skin is hydrated so that it doesn't dry out and start flaking so i'm going to use two concealers la pro concealer in the shade fawn and toffee so for y'all who have been rocking out with me for a while you guys know that fawn is my go-to under eye concealer shade but recently, I want to say within like the last two months, I noticed that form was working, but I wanted just like a little bit of a lighter highlight. And Toffee is like the next lightest shade, I believe. I don't know if that's the exact order, but for me and my skin tone, Toffee is perfect. So I'm going in with Toffee first, and then I'm going in with Fawn second. So if you noticed, I put Toffee directly under my eye, more so in my inner tear duct area. And then fawn is more so on like the outer side of my cheeks and the outer side of my face. And that's just kind of how I want my face to look. I want my face to look bright. I want to look awake, but I don't want to look like this. Like I'm not going to look like a full beat. Like it's still just going to look like skin. So I'm using this Morphe double-sided brush to blend out all the areas that I just highlighted. I'm speeding through this part because it's the same old, same old. You can certainly use any other brush or beauty blender that you like. Sometimes I use a uh, my Real Techniques Miracle Sponge for this. In this tutorial, I'm going in with this brush. And I really like this brush because it has one large side. The bristles are very soft to help um, me, you know, disperse the product. But then that smaller taper side really lets me get right underneath my eyes and the bridge of my nose. Taking a clean cosmetic wedge just to push the product into my skin some more and it also helps to absorb any excess and just get in all the little crevices. I'm going to set my highlighted areas with my Sasha Buttercup powder. I love this powder. It just adds the perfect like warmth to my face. Again, I have yellow golden undertone, so Sometimes translucent, powder, translucent powders scare me because I don't want a white cast. I don't want flashback. And again, I'm not going for a super bright highlight. So for, for me, for a lot of brown skin girls, that, that particular powder is perfect. So I'm just taking a big fluffy brush. This one is by BH Cosmetics. excuse me, And I'm just dusting off any excess powder. What that powder does is it sets the concealer in place prevents it from creasing and getting oily throughout the day. So I'm not going in with any foundation. I'm just going to use this black opal 
finishing powder in deep. And when I tell you all that this powder is the bomb, it's like $10. It makes my skin so flawless. I be, I want to say there's four different shades. I got them all. I don't even know what it is about this powder, but it's amazing. It's going to bring the color back to my face that the highlighter kind of looks like it washed out. It's going to bring the color back to my face. It's going to leave my skin with a beautiful finish. I get so many compliments when I'm wearing this and people are always like, what foundation do you have on? And I'm like, I just have one concealer and powder. <laughs> so this is the powder. It's very, very finely milled. And it almost has like this, I don't want to say it's a shimmer in the powder. But when I, when I first got these powders and I swatched them, I just noticed like a bit of, I don't even know what to call it. If it's a luminescence, if, if that's a word, I believe that's the word. But it just has like a, a natural glow that's in the powder. So I love it. So I'm working that into the outer areas of my face. Anywhere that I did not highlight, I'm working that powder in. And I'm making sure that I blend it in to the areas that I highlighted. Now I'm going to contour. Again, add that definition back to my face. I'm going to use this Black Radiance Contour Palette in medium to dark. Taking those two shades, the lighter sculpt and the darker contour shade, mixing them together, popping that in the hollows of my cheek. I'm gonna bring it around my forehead. I'm gonna go in with just the dark shade by itself around my jawbone. And then I'm gonna take a smaller um, dome shape brush to contour my nose with those same powders as well. Um, this brush is by Elf. I think it's a concealer brush even, but it's super small for me. I use it for my nose contour. It's the perfect size. I like to pop a little bit in between my cupid's bow. It just helps to make the cupid's bow pop a bit more, especially once I add highlighter right there. So. Y'all already know I blend all the time, like in between every step I'm blending because I don't want any harsh lines. I want everything to flow. And again, this is a no makeup makeup look. So I'm not going for like a slay beat to the guys. Like I don't want to be chiseled. I don't want to look draggish. I just want to look like my skin is amazing. So I'm going to lightly apply some blush. This is um, Saharan Palette Volume 1 by Juvia's Place. And these blushes are extremely pigmented. So when I say I'm going in with the light hand, I'm really going in with the light hand. And then I'm blending it out some more. Just to add a natural looking flush of color to my cheeks. And then on to the favorite part. So you could, of course, you could leave this part out. But for me, I love dewy, glowy skin. So even on a no makeup makeup look, I have to add a little bit of highlighter. So I'm going in with one of my favorites, e.l.f bronzer and warm tan. I use my fingers to apply it to the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. I'm going in with this e.l.f. highlighting brush and I'm taking just the lightest bit and I'm literally just putting it on the highest points of my cheek where the light naturally hits my face. Y'all see that? Like it's really subtle but it's just a natural glow. Again, placing it on areas where light naturally hits your face. Gonna blend that out. I'm gonna layer my highlighters. Again, you don't have to do this. I love glowy skin. So I'm taking my Makeup Revolution Baked Bronzer and Rock On World. The e.l.f. bronzer is, is a lighter pigment. It's still really nice on brown skin, but it is lighter. So I am going on top of it with a golder pigmented highlighter. Almost forgot what I was using. So I'm layering them. And again, I'm going to blend this all out. If you don't like this much highlighter, certainly you don't have to put this much. But I love it. For me, it's still really natural and glowy. 
And lastly, I am going to set my face with the Scandinavia Finishing Spray. This is just going to lock this all in. It's going to like melt into my skin. And I'm going back in with that rose water spray again. Just again, melt everything in, add more hydration so my skin isn't thirsty. <laughs> And I literally just have a random piece of paper that I use to fan my face so that everything I sprayed can dry. Only thing left that I'm going to do is just add some mascara on and some clear lip gloss. And that's the finished look to you all. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope that it was helpful. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with family and friends if you liked it. And if you are not already, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, guys, be blessed. Bye.